Okay, welcome. We're going to be uh, working on one of the, actually Lab 2, located in the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, Configuring Windows Devices for Exam 70-697. If I go to the contents, I am not going to be covering Lab 1 because there's a lot of things that are not covered um, that I'm not able to do through the classroom, so we're going to skip 1. I'm going to jump right into 2. And that's going to be supporting authentication and authorization. So during the, this next set of labs, we're going to manage local user passwords. We're going to use a PIN and a picture password, create and manage domain user accounts, using credential manager, and creating and supporting home groups. Okay, so I'm logged into my domain control and I'm now logging into CL1. <coughs> it, it defaults to our local admin. I don't want that. I want to do other user. Once this logs in, we're going to go right into computer management. Right-click, go into computer management. Right from here, we're going to go into local users and group and click on the users node. And right-click, I'm going to be a new user, J. Smith. We're going to assign him our normal password. And we're going to go ahead and click on Create. I'm going to unstop this. and close. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so here is our new user. If you're required to do so, this would be where you would take your first screenshot. We're going to go ahead and click on J. Smith. Double click it. <clears throat> And we're going to click on the member of tab. And you'll notice that J. Smith is a member of the users group. We want to click on add. We want to type in administrators here. Check name. We're going to click on OK. And OK. Now we're going to go ahead and right click on this account. This time we're going to go to Set Password. And now choose Proceed. And we're going to type in PASSW. Oh, one. Right, so this is going to be a capital P and password zero one. We're going to click on OK. Password's been set. We are going to 
going to close out of the console. And then go back into the start button. This time we're going to do left click and click on settings. And we're going to go into accounts. And click on other users. We should see John Smith here. Click on him, left click, Well, it wants us to log in as John Smith, so let me do that this way. Right click. Okay. Right click. And choose sign up. User, Jay Smith, put in my password. Now, the tricky part here is we need to do it this way because we don't want to sign on to Contoso. We want to sign on to the local machine and watch how this changes. And now we're logging on to the local machine. I'm going to pause the video while we wait for this to get set up. 